With more on the vaccine, we're now joined by Dan Stainer from Moderna. Thank you very much for speaking with us here on Euronews. The thing that everybody wants to know is when is this going to be made available to them? We know that the first 20 million doses earmarked for the US. What about here in Europe? I think you're good evening and thank you very much for having me tonight with you. I think, as you know, we, Moderna has put together two supply chains. One supply chain together with Lonza, our partner in manufacturing, which is based in the United States and which is going to provide the product needed for the United States. The second supply chain that we have built together with Lonza is based in Switzerland, in Visp. And this second manufacturing plant that is just about to start producing will provide the product for the rest of the world outside of the United States. We expect the product to be able to be shipped in the first quarter of next year. So shipping first quarter of next year, we've heard from the European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen saying the EU wants to finalize a deal with your company soon. How soon is soon? Give us a timescale of where we're looking. I think it all depends. We are having very good and very close uh, conversations with the EU Commission and of course with the European tender. So we hope as soon as possible. So if tomorrow, that would be the best, that would be the best opportunity. So on our side, those conversations continue and have been extremely active in the last couple of weeks. Are we talking a number of days here or could it be weeks and months before you put pen to paper? No, I, I believe, I mean, my, that's my best guess, that uh, probably in the next one or two weeks, hopefully we'll come to a conclusion with the European Union. And how much will you be charging per dose of this vaccine? Well, you know, uh, uh, our CEO has consistently mentioned that for relatively limited quantities, the price that we have articulated is between $32 and $37. And obviously, for higher quantities, the price will be revised. Obviously, for the European Union, as we are talking uh, larger numbers, of course, the volumes are bigger. Definitely, the price will be lower than that. But I cannot at this moment, as we have not signed yet the agreement with the European Union to share anything. Just quickly before we go, waiting for news of these vaccines has sort of been like waiting for a bus. We've waited for ages and then two come along all at once. Was Moderna pushed into making this announcement quicker than what it would have done because of Pfizer's announcement last week? No, not at all. I think we're, not, uh, we're in a race towards the disease and not in a race towards uh, any competitor. I think it's the disease which matters and how quickly we can provide we can bring the appropriate product with the right efficacy and the right tolerability profile. Uh, as it happens that our statistical plan is at 53, 96 and, uh, and uh, 151 cases. The viral attack in the United States is such that we have been reaching 95 cases uh, yesterday night and we've been able to immediately communicate. Remember that we have taken a position that will be transparent. As soon as we have new important data, we'll share them immediately. And this is what we did today.